Absolutely. Right? And yeah. you were talking and about your two sons. I love to share it with you. Sir? Yeah. I, I love to share it with young people because uh, Absolutely. I know a lot of good, very savvy young people that are going to want to go this way. Absolutely. And, so and there's I, people in corporate America, too. You know, there's people yeah. in corporate America that want to do what you did and leave. And, and and start their own business. And they can't skip yeah. steps, so they can't skip. Thank you for listening to the Cowboy Entrepreneur Show. Scott will be right back with more. For more information on Scott Knudsen, the Cowboy Entrepreneur, visit us online at cowboyentrepreneur.com. Hi, I'm Scott Knudsen, host of the Cowboy Entrepreneur Show. Heard on KCAA, Fridays, 3 p.m. Pacific. I'd like to talk to you about something I'm very passionate about. Those that know me know I love my coffee. In the morning, afternoon, and even late in the evening, I enjoy a good cup of coffee almost any time of the day. Now, my team at the Cowboy Entrepreneur Show has been working for several months on creating and introducing our own brand of coffee. We wanted to make sure that we got it just right. We don't want to put our name on anything unless we're 100% certain that it's the best product available, and we've finally done it. We have created a wonderful line of coffees, 13 fantastic flavors offered in whole bean, ground, and K-cups, any way you like to brew your coffee. Now, each of our coffees carries our brand, the very same brand that we put on our horses, our trailers, and our chaps. So you know that this is a quality product. And we only use 100% Arabica beans, the very best beans available. Just listen to some of these wonderful blends and flavors. Jamaican Me Crazy, Honduran San Marcos, Chocolate Cherry Amaretto, Breakfast Blend, and my very favorite, Haley's Blend. A coffee so good, we named it after my daughter. You can order these coffees today by going online to javacowboy.com. That's javacowboy.com. And if you order today, you can get an extra 10% off your final purchase just by entering the promo code COWBOY on checkout. Remember, that's promo code COWBOY for an extra 10% off. Just go to javacowboy.com to order your coffee today. Total equine. Total bull. Total canine. Total goat. Total people plus. Total feeds. Unparalleled excellence in nutrition. So, and, and thank you for sharing that. This, that's so helpful for people to understand. You know, it's a, it's a ladder ride up to get to a certain level in a company or a business. And you don't skip the right. rung or, or you're going to fall. <clears throat> Yeah, um, you can you can do well in a company if you stay with them long enough and you move up the corporate ladder up and up and up. But uh-huh. all they have to do is change one person above you that doesn't absolutely. care for you. Bing, 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 down you go again. So, absolutely. So there's no there's no guarantee in a company. Right. I learned that early on. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. What well, do you think it made but you learned, like, sir? I learned for what I took away probably from uh, corporate America. I got to work with some of the best salespeople that I still have ever known. Love and it. they were the old country salesmen that knew how to talk to people and knew how to service people. And that's what I've modeled myself from ever since. I can mimic several of them. And sometimes I catch myself mimicking some of them and how they operated. <laughs> I, I that, love that. What well, was it things. relationship? Yes. Or was it relationship it, or was relationship it knowledge? Telling. Yeah, absolutely. I love yeah. that so much. Yeah. I used to teach sales schools too. <laughs> Did you really? Way. And, awesome. Oh yeah. I used to teach sales, sales people how to sell. <laughs> <laughs> the right way. Oh, I've, had, I've had more fun than I deserve. <laughs> oh, so so relationship selling. So, can you tell us? Would you mind just sharing a little bit of knowledge on that? What does that mean? Relationship selling. Well, relationship selling to me is very simple. You don't you don't always have to know the person real well. I think one of the critical things about meeting someone that you've not met before 
find out where they're from and said, well, how's the family? Yeah. Can, can anybody not feel comfortable if you want to know about the family? And then, then the important thing is stop and listen. <laughs> That's a I've kicker. Had people say that and then go right on. No, no. Right. You listen. That may take a little time sometimes, and sometimes it can take a lot of time. But, but they feel good about knowing you, and they start to trust you if you share experiences about the family, even though you've never seen each other before. That doesn't matter. You're still you're still friends, Absolutely. and and you want you want them to be a, look at you as a friend that's wanting to help them, and that that's kind of how you do it. Absolutely, uh, there are a lot of mistakes I've seen salesmen make, and it, it drives me crazy. It's probably not time to talk about all that today, but but uh, that that's kind of a whole whole sequence of events in itself. Uh, but uh, that. Yeah, relationship selling is still still the best way. Still the best. I've seen I, sales I, reps. I, I still talk run into s- that where I run into somebody that doesn't want to know me. Uh, I, I almost have to turn and walk away. Right. Because I know they're not listening. Right. Uh, when when they start with an argument or they start with a challenge. It, you know, I don't right. do well there. <laughs> right. Yeah, absolutely. I want to be friends. Uh, why not? You know, why not? I mean, it's a vested interest, you know, the better they do, the better we'll do or you'll do, you know, it just kind of goes in. I've seen sales reps talk themselves out of a sales job too, out of an opportunity to sell something. They just keep talking. A point. That's a great point. I have seen so many salesmen talk themselves right through a a sale and then go off out the other end and walk away and say, didn't get anywhere there. Well, she would have shut up about halfway through. Yes. I didn't say that. She would. That's what I wanted to say. Absolutely. I, I wanted, to, you know, because I used to go out with salesmen when I was consulting you know, with when I was with the company. I, they salesmen would take me out and stand me up in front of you know the feedlot manager or somebody, and and, and that they, I'd, I'd have to do the do the technical work and all the fancy words, the PhD words and all that kind of stuff. Sure. But they were going to close the sale. And they talk and talk and talk. And all of a sudden, you know, I could see this customer prospect, you know, getting up and, you know, close. And yeah, they're, I think they're ready. And then they tell a story and he goes, mm. I knew, let's go. Let's go home. <laughs> We'll come back another time, or maybe I'll circle around and I'll do it for you. <laughs> yeah, that, that'd probably be the better way to do it. Oh my yeah. goodness! <laughs> Isn't it funny though when someone's trying, they're trying too hard to be good at something like that, like selling. When really right. selling is just listening, and you listen, you find yeah. that opportunity, and you fix that problem. Kind of like an entrepreneur. Right. right. Oh yeah. Same yeah. thing. So, well, so, so being an entrepreneur, you said earlier in the show that. It was hard to boss you. You weren't good at having a boss. Do you think that made you better as an entrepreneur that now it's your own your own ideas and you can carry them through because you have that vision? Yeah, I, I, I have. I've always been to where I had to get away from somebody trying to be bossy to me. Right. Um, I didn't grow up being bossed around. Um, oh, times there were, but I always got away with it, you know. Because I was a very independent kid, um, right. and uh, I I sneak away, take a family car when I was thirteen, and go to country dances. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I shouldn't say that. I could still get in trouble. Absolutely, yeah. They'll come looking for you tonight. <laughs> of course, people who were in authority then. They're probably gone. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my but goodness. We, we had we've had some some. Uh, Exciting time! Oh, you know, Elizabeth asked me last to have a story, and and you asked me last time if I she asked me if I had a funny story. Okay, I had one that I I really like to tell. It was back in the old days when I was still consulting and traveling from Texas to Kansas, back and forth, Montana. So one that one uh, evening I was coming back out of Texas. I was headed for home in Kansas, but I had to make a stop the next morning in, in Oklahoma. So I was going through Jacksboro, Texas. You know where Jacksboro is? That's kind of a rural America. Yes, and, sir. And uh, just coming up on the edge of town, I thought, you know, I'm, 
maybe I just shut her down. And here was the Jacksboro Motel, a little motel that's, you know, a L-shaped motel, you know, one story and about 10 rooms and everything. So I pulled my big trailer in on the far side of the, the parking lot, check in. Next morning, I get up 5 o'clock in the morning to get, get on the road early, and there wasn't a light anywhere. I thought, my gosh, my trailer's still on the other side of the parking lot. I think I can find it. I can kind of see some things. So I, I took my my first luggage, and I took it over the trailer, but I left my door open with the light so I could see where I was coming back to. So I got my stuff in the trailer, and, and I was coming back, and just as I was coming between the cars, I saw something move along the sidewalk, along the wall. It was black with white stripes. Uh oh. There was a skunk paddling along. <laughs> Just he'd he'd seen the light of my room. And I thought, Oh, you're kidding me. This can't be happening. Sure enough, in he goes. I'm standing out there <laughs> between the cars watching this and he walks over to the sink and he's looking around. How am I going to get my computer out of there? My part of my luggage is still in there. So I stood there a moment. He walked back and then walked over by the bed under the little nightstand. And so my computer was over by the where he'd been standing. So I walk in. I go <laughs> tiptoeing across through there. You know that I didn't know what I was going to do. So I pick up my computer, my day planner, and I turn around like this and. All of a sudden, he's coming out be from behind the bed, and he oh. stops, and he goes, looks me right in the face. I thought, here's the end of it. <laughs> yeah, and he, trouble. He paddled, he paddled outside the door, and you could smell that he'd been in there. <laughs> and I was, was so much wanted to know what the cleaning person was going to say. <laughs> But that's one of the uh, one of the more exciting things that happened to me while I was traveling. I've got piles of those, but that that's the best one. Oh, I love road stories. You know, I love it. You, you just still, I mean, whoever it was is still telling that story. I went into his room and it uh, yeah. smelled like a skunk. Yeah, there was some dude came through here with that trailer and he had a skunk with him. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So, uh, so, so you have a family business and we were talking about it and you mentioned your two sons a little bit earlier and your wife is involved in it. Right. So how, so there's so many family businesses, you know, large scale like you and some smaller ones. How do you work that dynamic? So everybody kind of has their role and it still works out, um, for, for the good of the family, number one, and the company. We're, we're extremely fortunate in the fact that, uh, of the four people, Margaret, myself, and the two guy sons are all different. Uh, we we each have our own expertise. Margaret is a master of communication. She has a degree in education. She's very good at communicating and helps all of us <laughs> as best she can <laughs> with, with our communication skills. Right. Uh, of course, I have the technical background and that in inbred that that salesmanship that that i've developed over time they do not mm -hmm. but eric is ex-military he was in he was the first unit over in desert storm and the last unit back wow and so he has that military background that stayed with him i think he had that before he went in mm -hmm. um, but he has that military so he takes care of our logistics you don't fool Makes with him. Or don't make a promise and then truck drops off. It doesn't work. <laughs> and so he takes care of that. And very good at it. And then Corey is a, he's, he's the creative one. He has, he has a, uh, a degree, a bachelor's degree in psychology from University of Kansas. Do you know oh, what good. you do with a four year degree in psychology? Uh, tell me. Not a whole Please. lot. <laughs> but, <laughs> But but it's useful, very useful for what he does. Mm -hmm. He he can understand and he he goes after the uh, the mentality or if you want or or what people are thinking. And he he's he's very into this changing role of our marketing. 
because he understands how these young people are thinking. And your daughter-in-law is in the business. Yes. Uh, Cynthia came on when, when Margaret, uh, she retired and uh, she wanted to do other things. So I, I, I let her and no, just kidding. <laughs> and anyway, uh, so Cynthia, uh, Eric's wife picked up and started doing the, the mailing of all the things, you know, and, and our mail orders, because we do a lot of mail order stuff. Uh, most of her, half of our total people plus is all mail order. Wow. And so she takes care of that banners, brochures, etc. So that's her role. But uh, the other thing is that we can have all the expertise that any big company has piecemeal. We have a, a uh, an accountant that we had worked with privately for several years. And all of a sudden we uh, got super busy. So I said, well, can you take over inputting invoices from feed companies and do the billing out to the customers? And she said, yeah, and she can do it in a fraction of the time that I can do it. Right. And we pay her a modest amount every month. And uh, it takes that away from me, which, so that takes one piece out of the puzzle. Then, then the social media or that those kinds of contacts or monitoring social media to see who's who's talking about us out there and what they're saying, what are our endorsees putting out there for, etc. We need to know that. Well, she's on there every day, and so we buy part of her time, and so we have all that expertise that would take a whole department in another company. It's one yeah, person, absolutely. And then. As far as uh, oh, our uh, you know video work and things like that, uh, we have one of the best videographers that I know of. He he does that part time when we need him. We call him. He comes and does it. And then and our social media lady, she has uh, it. Actually, she has her own little company called Calamity Media, and uh, she has four girls that work with her that can carry cameras and do a great job of that. So when we go to a function, like when we go to the NFR, we have Ben, our videographer, Sadie, four of her girls, all with cameras running all over Las Vegas, getting material for us. We gather enough material there almost to support us for us the rest of the year. Isn't that amazing? It, it, it costs quite a bit in for a couple of weeks, but that's all we spend for the year. So uh, that's how we get all the expertise of the biggest company in the world, but it doesn't cost us very much at all. I, I love that. So it's so creative, but you're also hiring other entrepreneurs. Everybody you named is an entrepreneur that's helping you build your business. Absolutely. Cause they each have their own business. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I love what you said earlier. Somebody's not bad with the way the business is run and they have to look in the mirror. Because it's their business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that has stuck with me That's since right. the last show. I love that. <laughs> and I love how you help other entrepreneurs and, and uh, run around Vegas to get there's so much to see in Vegas. And y'all are really a part of the event and the PBR for sure. Yes. Right. Yeah. And here in, in a couple of weeks, we're going to spend a week with uh, – with the ranch sorting people, the national finals. Very cool. And we'll be doing the same thing. You know, we, we uh, help them with, uh, we uh, feed, you know, we feed out, we put a live, live feed out for them, um, put cameras all over Fort Worth, I mean, uh, Will Rogers, and uh, do a live feed. And uh, we'll capture piles and piles of stuff there in one week. We don't have to be traveling all the time all over the country to do this. They come to us, really. I love that. I love that. So you're on the road at some of these bigger events. Do you still do your keynotes or, or other events like that where you're out and about? We, yes, we, uh, like I'll be doing the, the uh, mounted shooting finals, and that's concurrent with the ranch sorting finals. But we do the BFI, we do uh, the World Series of Roping, uh, the uh, USTRC Roping. Uh, mm -hmm. We're the biggest sponsor, feed sponsor for that. We're the feed sponsor for all these things. And so all these people gather up for us. And, and we can go and, and harvest a bunch of stuff out of there. And uh, they enjoy seeing us. And we, we get whoever we want to pull out. 
Uh, it's just an efficient way of doing it. And, and that goes into all of those 500 plus uh, videos we have on YouTube. Right. as well as all of our Snapchat and all those little ditty bobs, uh, we get, that's where we harvest them and get them. So it's just a, it's just an easy, fun way to do it. And I get to spend more time at home than I've ever spent. Isn't that amazing? Uh, just doing it more efficiently. But when you go out, it's for a bigger yes. impact. I love that. Oh yes. Yeah. Uh, People still uh, want to see, see you. They sure. still want to shake your hand. They still want to know you're a real person. Right. Even though they see my picture on every feedback they pick up. Yeah, absolutely. But they want to know, they want to say I met him or I talked to him or I shook yeah. his hand because that right. once again, relationship selling. And then 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 I get to heart, uh, stories like this. Uh, I had a I had a call yesterday. Well, yeah, yesterday from a guy in South Texas that said, uh, yeah, I've been using your total people for 15 years. I got to tell you a story. And he said, remember my remember my, our conversation? Oh, yeah, 15 years ago. I remember every one of them. <laughs> but he said, I sent you a picture of this whole horse that I rescued. And then I sent you a picture of him 59 days later. And he looked went from a skeleton to look like a racehorse. And he said, my buddies all said, when they saw that, they said, can I come and live with you for 60 days? <laughs> and but but he said, oh, well, what I want to tell you, he said, 15 years ago, I had a shoulder bone on bone and the doctor said, we're going to do surgery. He said, I started taking total people plus. He said, I'm still waiting on the surgery. Wow. Those, and what he really called me about was he got, had a couple of bucket bulls he wants to, to grow up and he wanted to know how to feed them. And that's just fine. But he had to tell me this story. And if we go to shows, we get a lot of those people coming by and say, I just got to tell you. <laughs> when they say those words, I'm ready. <laughs> My ears perk up. <laughs> I love that. I love that. How did you go down that road to total people? Just real quick. I'm watching the time here. But so, you, so you're in the horse feed business. By you go request. To, just by request. By request. Somebody requested that, uh, that I, I take care of them like I do their animals. And I said, wow. sure. What a compliment. So uh, yeah, I just took the uh, micro package out of the total equine th at that time and put it in a capsule. It's it's exactly what the horses get. It just doesn't have the hay and grain in it. Wow. So every, every formula I have has that exactly exact same micro package in it. And that's what that's what does the work. It's not it's not the alfalfa and it's not the grain and those kinds of things that are the are the important part of my my programs. I mean, I, lo I love that. It's such a like I said, a compliment for somebody to come up. Man, you made my horse look good. You know, can you help me now? You know, that's so cool. Yeah. Um, and, and but you did it. You listened to your customer. And uh, yeah. everything I've everything I've done has been because of a request. Really? I, I didn't make any of these products that I have, the total goat, the total bull, total canine, or any of those, until somebody asked me for them. So your customer <laughs> kind of leads your business, but you figure out the way to run it. That's right. Yeah. I love that. I love, it sounds so simple. simple, you know, but it's not. You know, it's, it's a trusting issue for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, Dr. Anderson, thank you so much for being on the show today. I, it was just so much knowledge, and I know everybody loved it. And please thank your son, Eric, for his service. You bet. All right. Thank I you appreciate be being on here, and we'll do it anytime you want. Hey, thank you so much, Dr. Anderson. Have a good night. Thanks. Thank you to all the great sponsors of the Cowboy Entrepreneur Show. If you or your business is interested in being a sponsor of the Cowboy Entrepreneur Show, please call our office at 830-992-1786 or visit our website, cowboyentrepreneur.com. Hi, I'm Scott Knudsen, host of the Cowboy Entrepreneur Show. Heard on KCAA Fridays, 3 p.m. Pacific. I'd like to talk to you about something I'm very passionate about. Those that know me know I love my coffee. In the morning, afternoon, and even late in the evening, I enjoy a good cup of coffee almost any time of the day. 
Now, my team at the Cowboy Entrepreneur Show has been working for several months on creating and introducing our own brand of coffee. We wanted to make sure that we got it just right. We don't want to put our name on anything unless we're 100% certain that it's the best product available, and we've finally done it. We have created a wonderful line of coffees, 13 fantastic flavors offered in whole bean, ground, and K-cups, any way you like to brew your coffee. Now, each of our coffees carries our brand, the very same brand that we put on our horses, our trailers, and our chaps. So you know that this is a quality product. And we only use 100% Arabica beans, the very best beans available. Just listen to some of these wonderful blends and flavors. Jamaican Me Crazy, Honduran San Marcos, Chocolate Cherry Amaretto, Breakfast Blend, and my very favorite, Haley's Blend. A coffee so good, we named it after my daughter. You can order these coffees today by going online to javacowboy.com. That's javacowboy.com. And if you order today, you can get an extra 10% off your final purchase just by entering the promo code COWBOY on checkout. Remember, that's promo code COWBOY for an extra 10% off. Just go to javacowboy.com to order your coffee today. KCAA Loma Linda, 1050 AM, 103.7 FM.